Time to open the package. Oh, this is dangerous. Never cut towards yourself. <laughs> it's hard to do with one hand, so I have to. And there we go. So this is the replacement graphics card for my desktop. Oh, it's such a cute little box. Oh, this box is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. At least in terms of computer parts. But um, it's just a teeny tiny little graphics card. A 610 to be precise. But oh, it's tiny. Uh, it's the wrong IO shield. Luckily, one comes in the box. But um, yeah. This is the graphics card that's going to replace the currently dead one inside of my desktop. It doesn't have a fan, but it should work. Also, there's no VGA out. Now there is. Okay, perfect. Yay. My room is too crowded. It's so difficult <laughs> doing anything with this computer. Also, there's two of them, so I have to maneuver around that. Actually, there's technically three of them. There's the server laptop. Server laptop. Uh, let's open it up because this guy usually doesn't get any love because it's just sitting on top of my desktop. But uh, here it is. I think this is the vanilla server right here. And then this right here is the Feed the Beast server. Did the Feed the Beast server crash? Yes. Yes, it did. The Feed the Beast server always crashes because it is super, super buggy. I need to update it, and that might actually make it a little bit less awful, but that'll be uh, for, a, for the future, actually. Before we do that, let's start it back up. So load up that drive. Open this guy right here. Man, it's so <laughs> this trackpad is so different than the one that I'm used to. Uh, then this start script. We'll start it up and reset it if anything bad happens. Other than if it crashes like that. If it hangs, then it can't do much. <laughs> but uh, I gotta be careful with this because this is like precariously hanging over the edge and if I were to thwack it, ooh, like that, it could fall. <laughs> but um, I've unplugged the desktop. Let's see if I put the camera here. <laughs> And then angle it downwards. Can you still see it? Yes. I need to just move this because there is no easy way to uh, get inside of this otherwise. Oh, it's still plugged in. Oh, it's so dusty back there. That is some gnarly dust right there. But, um, just need to open this guy up. Oh, well, it's already open. Got to take out this graphics card. Oh, you can barely see in there. I don't even think you can see in there. Huh. Maybe? So this is the 970 and that's the 610. You really can't see the 610, but that's the 610. Uh, so that needs to be removed and replaced with the one that's over there. So I just noticed a really bad design flaw with the way that this card is made. I need to plug this cable in to this port right here. However, this metal shroud gets in the way, and there is no way that you're going to be able to fit this cable in onto those pins. I'm looking at it on here, and let's see if I can get a good angle. This is the old card, and as you can see, there's like no space. There's barely any space between the heat sink and the actual plug. So what I'm going to need to do is take off the giant heat sink. I don't like taking off heat sinks, especially when I don't have to. So, I gotta remove it from this in order to get the stupid VGA thing on, but after I get that on, I'll be able to install it into the computer. Hopefully it works. This card is so tiny! <laughs> it's so tiny! Oh my god, without the heat sink on, it's just the teeniest thing I've ever seen. And where did that come from? I don't know where this came from, so I'll take this off. And I guess, since I've taken this off, I should reapply the thermal paste, since it doesn't look like it's the best. I got this card used. Uh, technically, well, I got it from the Amazon Refurbished Rehouse, or whatever, uh, Rehouse, uh, Warehouse that sells refurbished stuff. So, yeah, I did it because it was like 10 bucks cheaper, and honestly, unless it's broken, there's no difference between a used graphics card and a new graphics card, other than maybe when it'll break, because this one was also bought used and it died. <sighs> Maybe I'll try it in the other computer. I, I still need to test it in the other computer just to like 100% verify that it is indeed dead. But I'm at least 33% sure that it is dead since it doesn't boot into any OS, including Windows, Linux, or anything else. But now that I have this thing off, I can finally try to figure out how to maneuver this because I don't have three hands. <laughs> Put this down gently. That wasn't very gently. 
And I believe, which way does this go? And I think it goes in this way. Let's see. It goes in this way. So that should be as simple as just doing this. Boom. And now I can plug it in properly. Yay, but I gotta clean this off. I also have to find my thermal paste so I can reapply it. It's so shiny and reflective now that it's clean. Uh, I cleaned off both the heat sink and the dye itself, and now they're stunningly clean. I just used one of those uh, alcoholic wipe things. Alcoholic wipe, the, uh, the heck are they called? Like those Lysol wipes, except it's generic Wegmans brand. And now both are clean, although it kind of looks like there's still stuff on there. That's just like the abrasion with the metal on the uh, dye that wore down the paint. But now it's time to put on new thermal paste, and once again, I don't have three hands, so this entire process is very difficult. Oh wow, this is like cake together. <laughs> Do I even have any of this left? I don't even know if there's anything left in this. Don't worry guys, this isn't drugs. <laughs> um, is there any? Oh yes, there's still a little bit. So we'll just put a little dot right there. Should be seems like maybe a little bit too much considering the size of the GPU. Mmm, I might have put too much on. Hopefully it didn't make a gigantic mess. Although I don't think this stuff is conductive. Oh, no, I don't think it's actually conductive. So even if it overflows, which that's definitely going to overflow. Yeah, we're going to need to redo that. <laughs> Let's uh, take this. It's the first time I've just flat out failed putting thermal paste on. Like, usually, like, I, I have yet to mess this up, but that time, nope, I definitely put way too much on considering the size of this thing. Okay. So, it's all clean once again. Blow it off, wipe all the little dust and crap off, and now that it's clean, we can try it one more time, except this time, I won't put on way too much. Instead, I'll put on just the right amount. I'm almost out, too, so I have to be careful with this, or else I'm just going to run out. So the key with thermal paste is you really don't want to use a lot. <laughs> um, more is not indeed more. It is actually... If you put on too much, it's going to act, uh, it's going to act as an insulator instead of as a conductor which means it's going to keep some of the heat in, which is really bad. Um, but I think the easiest way to do this now would be to put this guy down and then carefully line these up. And let's see, so it should just be as simple as don't mess this up. <laughs> so these two guys will come down like this. Got to make sure that the screw holes make, uh, meet up. And they do. And then you're going to want to scroll, uh, screw in the corners. Normally, this really doesn't matter. Um, a lot of tech people will tell you you got to do it. You got to screw it in from each of the corners. But unless you're applying a heat sink directly to a die, you don't have to do this because normally the heat spreader would spread out the force of the compression that you're applying to it. But um, Obviously, since this is a graphics card, there is no heat spreader on top of the die. And the risk comes, uh, basically, if you don't tighten the corners first and you tighten one edge too tight, um, and you're tightening it right to the die, you could actually crack the silicone wafer, which means you have a dead part. Um, but if you do it diagonally, then you distribute the weight over the entire die evenly, and assuming you don't, like, put down an insane amount of force, it won't actually do anything bad. Excuse me. But um, now that the thermal paste is reapplied, knife I need, or not knife, what the heck? My wrench is acting derpy. Oh, that's because it's, uh oh, did I just break the wrench part of this? No, hopefully not. Close that up, and I need the screwdriver to do the actual tightening. But yay, the thing is re-thermal pasted, and the, uh, thing is actually in the right spot now. It fits! Hopefully it works. I'll be really sad if I like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let me just hit my graphics card with the screwdriver. I'll be really sad if I put it in backwards because if I did then I guess I'll just have to live with not having, oh my god, just abusing this thing as I do it one hand, as I try to fix it one-handed. Don't worry, graphics cards are pretty 
robust. Usually it's not user error that breaks them, but it's just the solder that's used to uh, keep all the metal in cracks and messes with the con conductivity. But there we go. It's put together. Graphics card is fixed. Now I just need to remember that this is the old one, so I'll just put it over here. And this is the new one. Let's install it in the computer. So this is something that I've known about for quite some time. Uh, this is actually before I install it, but that I always thought was really funny. So the speed of light is, well actually the speed of electricity as it passes through copper is a finite amount. And when you're accessing like the, these four little spots that you see right here, those four rectangles, I don't have a finger to point at it since I'm using my camera or my phone as a flashlight, but these four rectangles right here are where the four memory chips are. And basically since all of these are hooked up in parallel, uh, they're hooked up in parallel, yeah, it's DDR3. Um, the length of the wire that goes from the chip itself to the die needs to be the same from all of them. So as a result, you get all of these like squiggly things. If you look right under the KCC rem, the wiring that goes there is all squiggly instead of just a straight line. You might think, why would you do that? That's wasteful. And that's done just to keep the traces themselves all the same distance away from the die. So I always thought that was a pretty fascinating thing, but just thought I'd share it with you now. Oh, flashlight. My flashlight. Turn, turn off. Please. I can't turn off my flashlight unless I unlock my phone. Okay. Okay, phone. <laughs> but, um, yeah, now that I have that, let me install this into the desktop. I have neither a cameraman nor a tripod at the moment, so... Actually, no. I have a tripod. Um, so doing the actual installation on camera is a little bit not feasible, especially in this tiny little cramped quarters, but... I have just shoved it into the slot and I'm now screwing it in. And now, theoretically, I should be able to power six monitors again. Although, I only have five monitors to power. But um, now everything should be hooked up and ready to go. That's exciting because I've only had four screens for a while. Only. Yeah. Guys, I've only had four screens that I could use on my computer. But, um,. No, now that we have that, all five screens will once again be usable, and the command center with both of its wings will be born once again. It is time to see if this works. I resituated everything, everything's plugged in, and now, hopefully things don't explode. If all goes right, that's the screen that's going to turn on, and everything else will stay dark. Even though that looks really weird. I actually really don't like that. I, I'm really sad that everything doesn't turn on and only that one card turns on. But that's because the upper left hand monitor, yep, there we go, is connected to the crappy card, which is at the top of all the PCI slots, which means it gets priority. So, yeah. It's gonna take a while to start up. Like, SSDs are fast, but it just takes so long for all the post stuff to happen. Oh, maybe I lied. Maybe it'll go fast. Uh, but I sort of vacuumed the area out from back there a little bit. Um, yeah, it's a lot cleaner, but it's still quite a mess, as you can not see at all, because the exposure isn't that high. But there are so many cables back there, it's crazy. Luckily, everything seems to be hooked up. The only problem right now is now this desktop isn't hooked up to a display, but... I think I have a VGA cable somewhere that's long enough, and if I do, I'll just hook it into the middle display instead. But... Is it alive? Or is it dead? Apparently my phone restarted, but what did my desktop do? I put in the right graphics card. I think. Uh-oh. So I'm worried now, because I'm having the exact same issue that I had with the old card with the new card. I hope I really didn't get unlucky enough to get two dead cards, because that would make me sad. But um, the way I'm going to test this out is the old card is going to go into that desktop, and then I'll just see what happens when I turn it on. If it turns on correctly, then yay, otherwise <sighs> I'll have to return this card and wait for another one because, Jesus, I just want five screens. Is that too much to ask for? Maybe it is. So here is the second desktop. This computer is in every way inferior to this computer. Uh, but, you know, I got it for $20, so I really don't expect that much of it. But, opening it up, i7-920, 6 gigabytes of RAM and 3 2 gigabyte DIMMs, and a ATI Radeon 4670. 
yeah, it's nothing really crazy. Also, there are two 300 gig drives in here that I accidentally, like, blew up when I plugged in the wrong power. So, that was unfortunate. However, it's currently booting off of this teeny tiny 2.5 inch 160 gigabyte drive, so... It's not really that powerful. However, that's not really the purpose of it. It's literally only here just to render stuff out. And now... What I need to do is remove the 4670 because I don't want to have a secondary graphics card in here and then install the 610. This I think I can do with one hand. Maybe. <laughs> and, oh, what the heck? This is a weird lock on the PCI Express slot. How does this work? Like that, apparently. So, oh no, there's an adapter on there. Adapters are the worst. <laughs> Gotta remove it. And, come on. Dang it! I can't get this thing off. Not easily. Can I squeeze it through? No. Ugh. I have to do this off screen. Be right back. Okay, I got the thing out, and now I have to put the new thing in. So, or rather, the old thing in. Go in there, 610. Hello there, loud car that is beeping outside. Plop that in. Ah, uh, do I have a quick, easy screw that I can use to hold this in? I'll just use the case screw because those are easy enough to get in and out and don't require... Ah! Carefully. There we go. They're easy to get in and easy to take out. At least that's what I'm hoping is the case. So I'll screw this guy in. And now that we have that, uh, let me push this over here. Hopefully these cables will reach because I know a couple of these are kind of tight. Um, plug in the power. What the heck? <laughs> Apparently that's not screwed in too well. Uh, actually, I'm quite surprised. Oh, no, the screw just flat out popped out of that. Okay. <laughs> okay, Case, whatever you say. And then this HDMI cable. Ah, oh, that's not gonna reach. Power cable reaches, but not this darn HDMI cable. Maybe if I pull it over and out. No. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Uh, I think one of these goes to a thing which I can use. Let me yoink this cable right here from the Wii. No, that's super tangled in. I'm not gonna yoink that cable. Dang it, everything is so interconnected that it makes modifying one thing the biggest pain in the butt ever. But the question is, which one is the least pain in the butt to actually change? Uh, actually, I think if I can grab the Amazon cable from over here, this one, this cable right here should be long enough. Yes, it is. Plug this guy in. And fire up. So, this seems to have problems as soon as it boots into a UI. So, what I... It just turned off. Oh, no, it didn't. It just reset. <laughs> the BIOS was reset. Oh, no, that means my overclock is gone. Um, but I should be able to switch this over to HDMI. Oh, no. No. Switching from display port to display port. <laughs> It's the same exact port. Oh, no, apparently it's... How's it going to that screen? Oh, yeah, I know why it's doing that. Um, but let me grab you and plug in the USB thing into a random USB port. Where are you? You're not a USB port. Are you a USB port? There we go. No keyboard presence, of course not. <laughs> so let's try turning you on one more time. And now I should be able to use this keyboard and that mouse. But this is going to take a while to turn on because this is a slow computer. But uh, what I'm going to do is boot it up into Windows and then attempt to install drivers. And after that, install uh, Furmark and see if it works. If it passes that, then I'm going to be a little sad because I ordered a second graphics card for no reason. And then on top of that, I'm going to be a little annoyed that my desktop, for some reason, isn't running both graphics cards correctly. Let's see what happens. So since I don't have a computer right now, I've currently uh, 
just put on some YouTube in the background, and I'm having issues. Maybe the graphics cards are both actually dead, because, uh, yeah, this is not installing the graphics driver, so what I'm going to do is restart this computer and try again, and hopefully now it'll work. Like, right now I have proper resolution, but the drivers technically aren't installed. I don't know, guys. My, my desktops are confusing me. Rather, these graphics cards are confusing me, and I'm going to be so sad if this doesn't actually work. Um, yeah. I have about an hour and a half until I have to go somewhere, so i got a little bit of time to do this. I'm going to probably work on a project while I'm waiting because, my god, this computer is slow. It doesn't have an SSD, and SSDs are just, like, the fastest thing on the planet. But yeah, let's, let's see what happens. Well, Furmark is running, albeit very slowly, but, I mean, that's what I expected. This is a pretty crappy graphics card. Um, and it hasn't crashed yet. I don't know if it will, but for now... I'll see what happens. Uh, I should probably install some monitoring tools so I can see what exactly is happening. Uh, it shouldn't run too hot, because right now the case is just flat out open, so there's plenty of ventilation. But, yeah, I'm really hoping that... Well, <laughs> I don't know what I'm hoping at this point. I I'm hoping that the graphics card is dead, so I didn't waste money by buying another one. But at the same time, if they're alive, that means that there's a different problem, one that I have yet to experience, and the only thing that I can really think of is either the computer not supplying enough power through the power supply, yeah, either my power supply is too weak, or maybe the PCI slot is messed up. And both of those are actually, like, significantly worse than this graphics card being broken, so yeah, I guess I'll see what happens. Well, I figure since I uh, took this graphics card out of the computer that it's currently in while I'm running those stress tests, I might as well clean it because it is really dirty. So I grabbed another one of those uh, Lysol wipes and my desktop is attempting to start up. So what I'm going to do is start it into uh, start it up in safe mode. And if I can boot into that, I'll nuke and reinstall the drivers, which is something you should do whenever you change graphics cards. And if that doesn't fix it, then I'm going to say it's an issue with the computer and not the graphics card. Which, what are the chances of that? I I've always heard of, like, graphics cards failing, but I've never heard of the computer messing up to a point where the graphics card can't work in that computer. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's causing it, but hopefully I'll be able to get it to work. But I'm going to clean this. So it is yet to crash. Uh, it's been going for how long now? Let's see. Wrong mouse. <laughs> so, d wait. Oh, that computer started up. Uh, oh, does this not give me the total? Oh, yeah. It's been going for about 15 minutes with no crashes. This is booted up into safe mode. So can I get it to start up? And then can I do the thing? Hopefully I can. But, um... Well, that is existing, I've cleaned this off, it's all shiny and stuff, and this is all nice and smooth. So yeah, now that this is clean, I'll reassemble it, and at some point or another it's going to need to go back into the desktop, into the secondary desktop. The only problem is, this graphics card is really old, but it's so old to the point where it doesn't have proper driver support in Windows, and I actually, like, I would love to use this thing to render video. I mean, it doesn't need to do a ton, but GPU acceleration is really nice to have when it comes to encoding videos, but this is actually too old to use with Media Encoder and Premiere, so everything is just done straight off the CPU. But, um, this, by the looks of it, is... Oh, no internet. Well, <laughs> great. Uh, I'm gonna have to see what I can do about that. I think I have DDU installed. Hopefully I do. Yay. So I put the 4670 back into the uh, secondary desktop, and I removed the 610, and the drivers are installed on the other desktop, on the main desktop, and now it's time to restart. So the question is, is this going to fix everything, or is this going to break everything? Um, also right now, I, I, <laughs> I had nothing but issues. The micro SD card that I got yesterday has been unmounting itself in Android repeatedly, and I don't know why, and I'm really worried that the micro SD card is dead. Everything is dead or dying. So what I'm doing right now is, well, what I'm going to be doing right now is I'm gonna do a full format of the micro SD card uh, instead of a quick format. I'm gonna zero it out, and then I'm gonna do some stress tests on it to make sure that it is actually working properly. Um, if we do list disk, there it is. At least it's being detected. That's good.
I'm really confused right now. This is the new graphics card. All of my screens are working right now. I have the old graphics card back in there. Is this the new graphics card, or did I accidentally switch them at the beginning? Starting to think that I might have accidentally switched them. Um, the last... So, a couple of times I've been able to boot with this graphics card, but then I restart the computer, and then I can't. So, I guess I can test this out by restarting the computer, and then if it boots, great. If it doesn't, then there's the problem. I did... or no, if it doesn't, then no, I'm still having this problem. Otherwise, if it does, great, everything's working out. I wonder... maybe... The problem might have been one of those other wires going across it. I wonder if there have been, like, any shorts that have occurring. Hmm. I don't know, but right now it appears to be working. The question is, will it remain working after I restart again? And of course it takes that freakishly long amount of time to actually restart. But, um, I guess the only thing that I have to do then in that case would be throw this into the other computer and see if it boots. If it doesn't boot with this, then I think it would be safe to say that I accidentally swapped graphics cards. Otherwise, this is now working. And I'm really confused as to why. Because I could have sworn that I didn't switch graphics cards. Like, I was being careful not to do that. But obviously, maybe I did do that. I don't know. I really don't know it anymore. <laughs> I'm confused. Well, I have, uh, instead of the computer on the secondary desktop running over there, I now have it running over here, except, I don't know if you can see it, uh, the video might not be smooth enough to show it to you, but it is flickering in a very noticeable way to me, and it's, like, really uncomfortable to look at, and I don't know why this is happening. Um, luckily, that's not something that, that I really need to worry about, since this is usually on the other input, which doesn't have that issue, but... Yeah, this is looking strange, so let me just close out of that. Um, I'm s currently formatting the micro SD card on this computer because this computer isn't going to be doing anything, so I can just go and this other... The, the, uh, blah, blah. the desktop has been restarting a lot since I've been swapping out graphics cards. But, um, yeah, I think I, I, I'm fairly certain that I just threw in the wrong one because now it's seemingly working, but this is taking so long, it's only 12% done. Um, I guess it takes a while to write 128 gigabytes worth of zeros, so that'll be going for a while, uh, which means my phone currently has a measly 32 gigs of space right now, and I mean, that sounds like a lot, but compared to 160, that's not a lot. But um, yeah, that's working. Uh, I'm going to get a little bit of work done because I have to go somewhere at 4, and right now it's 3.30, so getting some stuff done, which I think the stuff that I need to do is going to be really easy to do. I just need to do it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so... At least I have all five screens back. It, it feels so much bigger. Like, you'd think that just one screen not being here, it, it would still be more or less the same experience. But, honestly, having access to that, it just feels like there's so much more space. So, let's switch this back to DisplayPort. And Marvel at the desk. Yay! Man, today is just a really vlog-filled day. Like, there's gonna be a lot of vlog for today. <laughs> it's probably gonna be a 20-minute vlog. Um, but for the last few days, I've been drinking cold coffee. Uh, usually. There have been a couple of times where I've had warm coffee, but more or less I've been having cold coffee. Because cold liquids apparently wake you up a little bit when you drink them. I think that has to do with, um, it lowering your body temperature so your metabolism has to kick up in order to compensate. So, I've been drinking cold coffee because I figure the coldness will wake me up really quickly, and then the caffeine can take over from there. So, yeah, it's that part of the day where I'm starting to get tired, so it is time for a nice, cool cup of coffee. Also, I can chug it, which is nice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, back to work now. We have a problem. We have the problem that we originally had where all the monitors, except for that one, dies. Oh my. <sighs> it might be either an issue with the PCI slot, 
Maybe it's an issue with the driver in that it really doesn't like having a 970 and a 610 at the same time. But, I don't know. I'm really sad. Like, it was working so well, and now it's not. <sighs> Luckily, I'm just about to head out, so I don't have to deal with this, but still, it's rather unfortunate that this is happening, because I just wanted a usable five-monitor setup. I just wanted a working computer! But it looks like I won't be getting that for now. But, uh, let's see. It's, like I said, just about right before I leave. Let's see how much, um... Oh my, this is so ugly. It's 29% done. So, this is gonna take a long time. I'll just leave it for a while because I don't need it right now. But yeah, I'm just sad that this doesn't work. Ah. <sighs> It's all done. It's finally all done. The list of things that I have to do is officially... I'm trying to find it. <laughs> there we go. Is officially done. Due dates is now empty. For a little while, doesn't mean I can't just stop doing things, because I have, like, stuff due in two weeks, but... Yeah! It's all done! Um, it's 12.40, so it's quite a bit later, but... A couple of exciting things... Well, a couple of things have happened since the last part of the vlog. I think I figured out what the problem is with everything. Currently, that screen is dead. Um... The problem isn't the graphics card. I am now, like, 80-90% sure that the problem is not the graphics card. The problem is the PCI Express slot that it goes into. I think that slot is dying. So that's actually a worse outcome than what originally was the problem being that originally it was just the, um, it was just the graphics card which I replaced. But motherboards are more expensive to replace and I don't intend on doing it. However. I could just swap the motherboards from this computer and that computer, and then I should theoretically have that working slot, but I really don't want to do that. Uh, I don't like the motherboard that's in that computer as much as I like this one. Uh, this one's the Asus Sabertooth X58, that one's the EVGA, uh, what is it, the EVGA SLI 3 X58 or something like that. And um, the EVGA one is just missing a couple of features that I really like, so I prefer the other one. However, in slightly unrelated news, today I got something exciting. Uh, I was not planning on getting this. This was actually just completely random that I ended up getting it. But, uh, two hands. <laughs> um, today one of my friends was just like, hey, you have a spare Ethernet card, right? And I, yeah, I, I did. I actually found one just randomly on the floor a while ago, and I think my battery's about to die, so I might need to, uh, <laughs> stop the vlog in a second, because dang, I've been vlogging so much today, but, um, he asked me if I had it, and I was like, yeah, why? And he told me that he needed another one, and he wanted to, like, trade it for something, and I was like, okay, uh, but really, I don't need too much, like, um, unless I'm, like, going to upgrade the entire computer, I really don't need too much har hardware right now. Uh, so it was like, what do you want? And I was just like, ah, uh, I guess I'm kind of looking for crappy graphics cards because, you know, I need to power this. Uh, and he's like, oh yeah, I totally got one of those. And so he gave me this. And this thing is ancient. This is like, I want to say 2008, 2009 technology? It is old, but, you know, I am okay with that. Um, also I thought that said Watchdog, and I'm like, Watchdogs wasn't out yet. <laughs> it says Alpha Dogs. Um, but yeah, now that I have this, this is going to be going into the secondary desktop. It's slightly better than the 4670, but the speed boost isn't really what I care about. What I care about is this thing has CUDA, and I am pretty sure that I can, uh, I can do the thing. I can use it to render videos. I mean, it's not going to be the fastest thing ever, but it's going to be better than having the 4670 in there. So, I'm going to clean this thing up, and then I'm going to install it in the desktop, and that'll probably be it for the vlog. Oh! Just realize there's a six this thing requires six pin power. Also, I thought this thing looks really cool, like compared to uh 
Uh, compared to newer graphics cards, this thing looks pretty much like a new graphics card. It's a single slot graphics card, which is kind of rare nowadays, but I really noticed this when I looked at the back. It just... let me turn this around. It looks really cool. Like, it looks really new. I guess stuff like this really doesn't look... can't really look old, but... I mean, if I just saw the back of this graphics card, I would not have known that it was a very old graphics card. But, uh, yeah. I need to take this apart so I can reapply some thermal paste because this thing's like older than any computer part that I currently own here. So chances are that thermal paste is uh, not that good anymore. So I'm gonna take this apart now. I can only imagine that this is going to look really cool. So let's do this together. <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. The heat sink is literally suck stuck to the uh, graphics card. I think. Oh, there we go. Let's lift it up. And, whew, this graphics card is really freaking heavy. Like, what the heck was that? Um, and that's because the heatsink is made out of, like, almost entirely solid copper. So, yeah, this thing is really heavy. But, um, need to disconnect this fan. Gotta be careful because old wires tend to, uh, degrade in terms of flexibility. Who night scene, my camera thinks I'm recording this in a night scene with a camera and, or with a tripod and while it would be right about the night scene because it's kind of dark, the camera, I, or the tripod, I find that funny because it's just on my desk. <laughs> and oh no, my battery is like actually yelling at me now. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to uh, pause this video now and not come back until I either swap out the battery or let this thing charge for a little while. It's so clean. Also, if I touch it, it smudges up a ton, so I can't touch it, but Oh, that dye is so reflective. I love how shiny certain technology things are. Just polished metal is so nice. Like, this isn't super shiny. This is really shiny, but it's not super shiny. This is just ridiculously shiny, though. Like, you can see the camera reflection. You could probably see me if I moved a little bit of ways, but, oh, it's so pretty. But, uh, yeah, it's all cleaned, and as has been the case with a lot of the stuff that I've worked with today, it's time for some more thermal paste. Yay, thermal paste. Urgh, this thing dries up. I need to uh, finish this and get a new one because it's always convenient having some thermal paste lying around and this tube has honestly lasted me much longer than I expected. Like This was the first paste of thermal compound that I ever got back when I built the original desktop. So, yeah, I, I like this thing. It's quite... It's it served its job, and it's almost empty, which makes me sad because I've had it for such a long time. But, alas, I have it so I can use it. But now that that's applied, let's uh, put this back on. And there we go. All put back together, and actually, this thing still has the plastic, the plastic shroud on it. I kind of want to slowly peel it off, but at the same time... This is so old, I almost don't want to peel it off. Um, but this card, this graphics card, is really freaking heavy. Like, this thing is probably as heavy as my 970. And the 970 is significantly larger than this in every single dimension, but that's okay, because this one's heavier. If only weight uh, was a... If only weight correlated directly with performance. That, that would be nice, because then this would be my like, fastest graphics card. But, um... This needs to be installed into that computer, and yeah, then I don't know what I'm going to do about that other graphics card, or this graphics card. I don't know what to do at this point, um, because right now, there are three PCI Express slots in my computer. Uh, the top one is where the 610 is installed, the middle one is where the 970 is installed, and the bottom one is free. However, the top one isn't, there isn't enough uh, with, there isn't enough clearance to fit the 970, the hard drive cages get in the way. The middle one, it fits. The bottom one, it wouldn't fit because it's not wide enough. And the bottom one is only a single slot, uh, height because the power supply is right there. So, technically, I could fit this graphics card into the, uh, into that computer. However, then I'd run into a problem that I had a while ago where... Um, I had purchased a 210 instead of a 610 just for the, uh, sake of powering that screen. And, unfortunately, you cannot use the 210 because the drivers that the 210 uses are too old. Um, NVIDIA dropped support for the 200 series graphics cards a while ago, and they just stopped releasing driver updates for them. 
And the funniest thing is the last driver that supported the 210 was the driver that came out right before the drivers for the 970 came out. So, because I have a 970, I can't run both of them at the same time because computers apparently don't like running multiple versions of the same drivers at the same time. Yes, I've tried a lot of different things. No, you can't do it. Um, I've vlogged so much today that for the first time, I've run out of a battery the same day that I charged it. Actually, no, wait, I didn't charge this last night. At least not for a long time. But, uh, yeah, this is the stock battery that came with the camera. I just swapped it in with a, uh, one of the third-party batteries that I have. Um, but before my camera died on me, what I was trying to say was I've tried a ton of different things to get multiple versions of the drivers to load in at the same time, be it manually installing it through Device Manager, like, installing multiple versions, doing it in every order, and Jesus, none of it works. I've tried. <laughs> um... So, at that point, I realized, okay, I gotta get a slightly newer graphics card, so I got the 610, and now it died. And this 8800 GT is significantly older than the uh, 210 that I got, I think it's like three generations back. So, um, yeah, that's not gonna work. But, I'll be able to use it, uh, if anything, just for CUDA, if, otherwise, it's, if not that, it is slightly better than the uh, 4670 that I have in my desktop right now. Not much, but slightly better. And uh, actually, one of the exciting things that I can do with this is I should be able to flash this to a 9800 GT, which really won't do anything, but I like bigger numbers, right? <laughs> that's, that's how it works. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to install this, but I vlogged a lot today, so I'm going to end things off here, guys. I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please, not a Let's Play. It's not a Let's Play. I don't say that. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed today's video, that would make me happy. If you watched the entire video, that would make me double happy. But, uh, yeah, that's gonna be all for today. I'm going to install this thing into the computer. Maybe I'll do something else. I don't know. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the, do with the uh, two useless 610s. <sighs> See you guys tomorrow. Well, I was gonna say that the vlog was over, and the vlog did technically end already, but I was overclocking the graphics card after I installed it into the computer, and I have to say, this is the best, like, graphical crash that I've ever had, because I think all of those squares that you see, th those are all text, so like, every letter just got horribly messed up. Um, I can type, and it makes this thing, <laughs> Everything is just a square, and it's all messed up. I don't, I don't understand, but it's it's a very interesting color. Um, let me, I'm gonna like teleport slash TP noob, and oh my goodness, I can almost see the terrain. It is, wow, that is an interesting looking world of Minecraft right now. I I don't even know how to like begin to explain what's happening. Because, I don't even know. But it looks cool. Looks really cool. Noob, if you're watching, this is the weird thing that I was talking about. <laughs>